So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at three executive twist style Japanese fountain pens. Obviously, that's a crazily specific category. So we'll just go with it. First of all, we have the Pentel Philography. This is also known as the Pentel Energel style pen in the US. This is the Pilot Acro Drive. So it uses the Acro ink and it's the twist style version of the Acro. And lastly, we have the Uniball Jetstream Prime Single. In the US, this would be sold as the Uniball Jetstream Prime Twist. So these pens are similar because they come from Japanese manufacturers. So Pentel, Pilot, Uni, or uh, Mitsubishi Pencil, whatever you want to call it. They are full metal pencils, uh, pens rather. They're all metal. They have high-end materials. So basically that full metal body, metal clip, metal tops and bottoms. And they are all twist style pens. So instead of having a button on the top, you twist them. And these are all premium pens. Sometimes I call those uh, executive pens. Uh, and that basically would mean that this line has a series of pens, like the Energel line has a number of pens, but when you move to the executive, you generally move to higher end finish and a full metal body, as you see here. Price wise, we have about $33 for the Jetstream Prime, 18 for the Philography, and then the Acro is about 33. So pretty clear delta between the two. Here's a quick writing sample if you want to get right to that. The uh, Jetstream Prime has a skinny gel style refill. The Energel Philography is a gel, uh, but in a different body type or refill type rather. And the Acro Drive is a hybrid. The altered names are there and you could just kind of pause that if you want to do some research. Getting into the pens themselves, you can see that they're very similar. They are all uh, pretty sleekly styled, all have sort of thin reflective metal clips, pretty sparse on the details. This one, the Pentel has those little wave things right there, but past that, they're almost entirely detail free and sort of in keeping with a more, a cleaner, more executive style. On the finish side, the Uniball Jetstream Prime has a matte finish, which is very cool, but you could probably see here, it tends to pick up, uh, you can see right there, it tends to pick up oil, so it can often look smudged, but very clean. This is probably, to me, the best looking of the pens. It has a nice feature here with that little ring. It has a chrome finish. It has a little bit more of an aggressive clip. You can see it goes up higher and kind of angles down does not have the jewel here, the way some of the Energel Primes do. Moving over to the Pentel, we can see it uses a cool color. The Pentels have cooler colors than the rest. This is the dark blue, it's also a turquoise and a white, some other nice colors. Pretty big clip. This one has a sloping top and then those, that's just painted on. And then uh, just a really clean, very smooth grip. That's the case here. They get a little bit more grip out of the matte material. The most stylized of the pens is the Acro Drive. You can see it uses gold instead of silver. It has a, sorry about that. It has a uh, slightly curved out or slightly bulbous grip area, which actually makes it the most comfortable to hold. The Jetstream tapers down, it gets thinner. The Energel is basically flat and this one actually flares out at the grip area, which I really prefer. This pen is definitely the heaviest of the three, where the Energel is the lightest. The, uh, and this one is not a particularly light pen. I think this one's about 25 grams, and they get heavier from there. All of them have a really nice, smooth, silent twist action and the Energel is kind of the most friction, kind of a little bit hard to pull on, uh, turn almost, so doing it with one hand can be a challenge. The nicest and smoothest action is out of the Acro Drive. It has a very refined feel to it. 
and they all have a little mechanism where if you turn it and don't lock entirely, they will uh, return on their own. Actually, the they all have it except for the Energel. Sorry, except for the Jetstream, they all have a return on their own. So here you go. Here's the Pentel Energel. Turn it halfway, returns. Acro Drive, turn it halfway, returns. Uniball Jetstream Prime, turn it halfway, no return. So that's worth keeping in mind. It's not a big deal, but if you do push down on this, it'll just go back on its own as you push. The other ones will return with no, no hands. So that's pretty cool, not a deal breaker. Size-wise, they're very similar. It feels like these pens were de designed with each other in mind. So I'm gonna line up the top end at that line. You can see Acro Drive is the shortest, the Pentel is the longest, and the, uh, confusing all, all the names now, but the Jetstream Prime is in the middle. And again, all heavy from all that metal, but the Acro Drive is the heaviest. Opening the pens up, you just twist the opposite way. It's very simple. We see Jetstream Prime uses the SXR 600, which is a really popular refill. It was hard to get in the US for a while, now it's not. And this is a Parker G2 style refill, or Parker style G2 refill. So that means this pen is the most versatile of them because it uses that refill and that there are dozens, if not hundreds of great refills that you could put in the Uniball Jetstream single. Moving over to the Pentel, we can see it uses a Pentel LR type refill. And this is kind of like a Pilot G2 uh, and not a uh, Pilot, not a Parker style G2, but a Pilot G2 style, which means a big plastic gel body. If you like pens that put down a lot of ink and a sort of more watery saturated ink, then this is probably, probably the refill you're gonna want. You could put a 1.0 millimeter Pentel refill in there, which is what I have, but you could also put a Pilot G2 1.0 millimeter in there. in there. The Acro Drive uses a specialized refill, unlike the other two. And this looks like a Parker G2 style, but it's not, it's actually the Dr. Grip style refill. So you're a little bit limited on your options there. And we can see what those two refills look like next to each other. Again, they're very similar, but not quite the same and not interchangeable. You could see it's basically a shorter version of a Parker G2 style. And I will line up them at the front tip. You see this doesn't quite line up and obviously it's a good deal shorter, about a centimeter, about half inch shorter, we'll call it. So not interchangeable. You could probably work out some sort of shim there to make them go back and forth, but not natively interchangeable. So basically the Acro Drive has a specialized refill. And there you go. Has a specialized refill, so your options are limited. That said, it comes with this refill, the Pilot BRFN30, which I think is a really fantastic refill. So it's a really smooth, great writer. The SXR600 in the Jetstream is also a great refill, probably better, but the BRFN is, is solid as well. Like I said, as far as the action goes, the Acro Drive has the best action. It's really snappy, open and clothing, closing. I think it has the strongest spring. So I really like that one. Aesthetically, I tend to lean towards the Acro Drive. I think it's probably a little bit more interesting than the other two but the best looking one is probably this, at least in my eye. As far as which ones I prefer writing with the most, I actually really do not like the Energel. It's uh, a little bit top heavy to me and it just kind of feels hard to control when I write with it. The Jetstream is a little bit better. The weight seems a little bit more evenly distributed to me and I like the grip material. My favorite pen to write with out of these is definitely the Acro Drive. And even though it's the heaviest, and to me it's a little bit too heavy, I like the thick flared grip. It makes it more comfortable to hold for extended periods of time. And just, it's easier to deal with the heavier pen when some of the weight is front loaded here. It just makes it a better writing experience for me.
So I think that about covers the differences between these three pens. If you want one that is the cheapest or the best deal, the Energel Philography or Energel Style, whatever you want to call it, is kind of a no-brainer. So it goes for under $20, where the other two go for over $30. Also, if you want a watery gel ink, the Energel is probably the, one, the way to go. If you're left-handed, it's also a great option because it uses quick drying Energel ink. If you want a pen that uses a Parker G2 style refill, so maximum refill options, then the Jetstream Prime is a no brainer. It's a little bit expensive and it's a little bit hard to find, but you're putting a full metal twist pen. You're putting a full, uh, Parker G2 style refill in a full metal twist pen. And that is a pretty rare combination. So that this pen, while I don't tend to use it that often, definitely has a clear niche right there. My favorite of the pens is the Acro Drive. I like the BRFN 30 refill. The cheaper refill, the BRFN 10, is pretty good as well. This pen is the most comfortable for me to write with, uh, but it is unfortunately a little bit expensive at you know, $33, $34. That said, I really do like it the most. So that about covers the twist style refills, twist style Japanese executive pens and their refills. Uh, I've done reviews of all these in the past and I will put out more writing, or I, I can put out more writing if you're interested, but basically I've reviewed the SXR 600 as well as the Jetstream, so check out that one for writing. I've reviewed the Philography, so check out that one for the writing, and I just dropped the video on the Acro Drive, so you really should be covered there. It's already getting pretty long. And that is it for Twist Style Premium Japanese Pens. Thanks for watching.